Hello, I have my gloves on and it's time to create. So this video is a bit of a uh, postscript to my inking videos where I colour my book pages with Echo Line watercolour, tissue paper and crepe, oops, crepe paper. So what I've noticed is that some pages uh, are very nice, <laughs> you know, they turn out exactly the way I want and others don't. Like this, <coughs> excuse me, this one for example, there's too much white here and I mean I could go over this with Echo Line watercolour again, uh, you, more of, of that, um, but there's also another way of handling this, which is to go over it with acrylics, a very thin layer of acrylic colour. So I'm going to try that on this spread. Um, it has the added advantage of sort of sealing the paper in plastic so that you can write on it with, well, this is so dark that I'll be writing with white gel pens on it. But if you use um, like yellow or a bright light color, it seals the paper so that you can write with water resistant pens on it, like the kind that bleeds through. Uh, I have a bunch of pens that bleed through Leuchtturm paper, so I can't use them. Well, I can, it, but it, it sort of bugs me. I don't mind ghosting, but bleed through is just, that's too much for me. But when there's a thin layer of acrylics on the page, um, they don't bleed because they can't seep through the plastic. So that's one good thing about this. The other is that by just covering the whole already inked page with a thin layer of another color, in this case, purple, Windsor Violet is the name, <laughs> the proper name. Um, it deepens the pattern, oh, it deepens I don't know how to explain it. Can you see that it becomes much more vibrant? Um, the uh, crepe paper especially, some of them uh, sort of wash out when they dry. So what I think looks great while it's wet really doesn't look that great once it's dried. But this, by adding this layer, I get sort of the the wet feel of it again and it's like there it adds some kind of three-dimensional feel um, because you can see it, probably your eye can see that there are two layers and I think that that yeah I, it, it turns out very nice so that's one let's try another one we'll just put it there to dry. Uh, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> this is my October book. And I mean, this looked a bit like this page to begin with. And this is fine. Uh, this is actually better than this was. But uh, let's see. Oh, here. Like this one is it does work in a way because it's meant to be an autumn book and nature is dying and all that. But it just looks very washed out and grey. Whereas this is... Mm, it packs a punch. <laughs> so I'm going to go over this with yellow. Cad cadmium yellow medium hue. And primary red, which is... Well, I don't think it's red, it's kind of magenta or something. Me and colours, I tell you. Uh, oh, and also this one. 
orange orange yellow okay so I'm taking this pinkish thing here I'm gonna put it there and there and already <laughs> I'm loving it because I do like vibrant pages so of course it takes double the time to make your book if you do it like this with several layers but that's kind of I mean this is a project for several months as I said this is my October book and right now it is May it's the 31st of May so almost summer um, oops. So, you know, I can take the time to really make these the way I want them. Oh, this one was all dried up, so let's find another one. Um, why do they dry up? dried up yeah so um, when I I don't know if you have watched my previous videos but if you watched my videos from the beginning of May I was uh, complaining <laughs> that I had ruined my book because I hadn't prepped the backgrounds beforehand so I, the whole book got wet and, you know, the, the things I'd already written in it, stained and bled and, you know, all of these horrible things happened and in the end it was fine. But this is kind of the opposite of that approach, you know, to, to dye your book when you're already using it, that's one approach which I don't recommend. And the other one is dyeing your book months beforehand. And I realize this is not possible for everyone, obviously, because you need to afford your books in advance. And maybe you live hand to mouth, which is, you know, also a reality. But if you do have books lying around, you can do this uh, in advance and you can experiment more and you, may, you make one layer and you see whether you like it or not and then you add another one and you make it better and better and then when October rolls around and you start using it, you really have this worked through book that hasn't just been I don't know cobbled together because oh it's almost October I need to make my book uh, instead it's it's like almost a work of art that you've been working on for some time or maybe it's just me but look at this I mean I don't know about you but I think this looks so so much better. I want some dark, uh, what is it, burgundy down here as well. It just looks more vivid and I mean when I began the dark splotches here were like grey and now they look more like um, it almost looks like shadows or um, maybe an animal that has um, patterns <laughs> on them. I don't know, uh, but very different from what it looked like to begin with. And I mean, it's not wasted. The, the first layer isn't wasted because you need that to to make this, make these um, shift 
sort of gradients. Uh, and as I said, the two layers look really three-dimensional. So I think I want a touch of magenta over here just to, oops, just to um, mirror this side a little bit. Blah. That's fine. Okay, so that's the October one. Uh, what else have we got? Maybe this one. Um, which is my September book. And <laughs> this book has some really botched pages. Um, like this one. I really don't like this. It has bled through. Um, it was meant to be only like this turquoise, green, yellow gradient. And I've got like this pink and purple all over it and it it doesn't look any good together so what do I do I'm going to try this green gold and put it over here and see what happens if it um, yeah let's just see what happens and uh, maybe you've seen I I constantly wet the pay no well the paint, not the page. That's not the goal. Um, where the spray bottle of water. Uh, I kind of like that. It really deepens the color up here, perhaps, as well. And here. So it's still not how I wanted it to be when I first inked it, but it's better. So even the botched pages, you can you can um, salvage them, or you might be able to salvage them. Um, perhaps some pages are just lost. And that's okay too. You can glue. A picture all over it and just forget it ever existed. I think I'm gonna use some magenta down here and just strengthen the uh, the pink down here. <laughs> so this is really different from what it was when I started. Uh, hmm. Maybe not. I, I maybe I'm. I mean, I didn't like the page when I started, so it doesn't really matter what I do with it. I can't make it worse. I think maybe I can. Um, I'm gonna add some yellow here to ease the transition between the two colors. But now it looks a bit too thick. It's no longer three-dimensional so I'm going to use this tissue paper that's just lying around to blot up the excess yellow hmm. well it's it's better than it was and I can use this for some other project because it's stained and looking beautiful right uh, one more example <laughs> you're probably sick of it um, the January book, which is a lot of blues and blacks. And I mean, I kind of like this, but the uh, thing is, if it's this wasn't really dry when I started working on it, maybe not actually tinker with this one because I think it will the pages will stick together so I'm gonna put 
something here to prevent that. And we'll find something else. Something else, something else. Maybe this one. I do like these pages. Um, can you hear that? Oh, it's thunder. I love thunder. Um, I'm not sure about this. And this one, this one I absolutely don't like. Let's put some yellow on it. So you can see the difference. I don't know if you agree with me that this is better, but at least you can see the difference. <laughs> but uh, I, as I was saying about the January book, the blue one, blue and black one, um, acrylics is plastic based. So if you close the pages or flip a page before it's dry, it will stick together. It's like glue. So you need to really let it dry before continuing in the same book. I mean, with the watercolor and stuff, you can just ink like 10 or 20 pages at a time. It does bleed through and stuff, but it doesn't stick. When it dries, it, it the paper um, sticks. <laughs> um, so just fair warning, you know. All right, so that's today's tip. And I am going to do one more thing to this page. Do I have the gold somewhere? Yes, uh, because this was how it started. I wanted to make um, the edges gold. So I started doing that and then it sort of escalated into this, <laughs> this other thing. But it can be nice sometimes to have a have gold edges. Not too much though. It's not get really very visible against the yellow. But it does when you when the book moves when you flip it over or something, you see that it's, um, that it's shiny. Okay, so it didn't do much for this page, but it is, it, it can look good on other pages. Uh, I don't know if I have an example, perhaps, that I made earlier. Um, here's one. Again, I haven't let this dry. Oh, it's really pouring down outside. Um, so yeah, here is one I made earlier, the gold around the edges. Now, now that I see this, uh, I don't, I mean, this would really benefit from this treatment because the gold will probably pop a lot more if this pops, but I need to wait for this to dry before I do that. So. You won't get to see it until it's done. Oh, I think I need to protect all of these pages. Um, so don't don't do as I do, because you will ruin your pages. Uh, 
Anyway, that's it for today. Or for this video, at least. Maybe I'll do another one. How's that?